Hey y'all, my name is Mallory from Stay at Home Mallory. I post all kinds of homemaking and cleaning content. And today's video is going to be a two day clean with me. Hi. I'm filming this like right around Easter time. So this past week has been super busy with the library, the homeschool co-op, hiking, all the Easter stuff. Um, it's just been super busy. So I haven't been able to clean like the whole house in one day in a good minute now so that's why this is taking two separate days so yeah we're just going to go ahead and hop on into the cleaning so the night before this we had one of our family movie nights we have our big sectional couch in the playroom now and on the other side of the playroom i don't think i showed it in this video but we have a huge projector screen that takes up that entire wall so we have blackout curtains and have our family movie nights we eat out we try to just limit it to once a week so whatever we're wanting we go grab some of that bring it back here and just do a really fun family movie night um it's just been something we've been doing for a little while but now we got a projector and surround sound speakers and it's just so much cooler that was pretty much all that needed to be done in the playroom i kind of showed you a little after shot in there there's like our bike trailer that was sitting out but i couldn't really put that up right now um so i kind of forgot to do after uh clips of all the other rooms so that was the only one i did but i was just showing you that pretty much the trash was the only thing that needed to be picked up in there and now i'm moving into the kitchen um i have a mountain of cardboard boxes as always we are constantly fighting cardboard boxes in our house our garbage company does not pick up cardboard boxes it only will take things that are in your garbage can and of course these boxes don't fit in our garbage can so um we're thinking of switching anyways so that's why we always have cardboard boxes we try to do fires but we don't do fires very often so we just always have cardboard boxes in this corner over here you can look at pretty much any video i've ever posted and you'll see cardboard boxes in this corner um anyway yeah i will let you just listen to the music and enjoy some cleaning motivation now And now that I've got the kitchen tidied up, everything's mostly back where it should be, I'm going to do, uh, going to do the dishes, and I really like this song, so I'm going to talk more in just a couple minutes.
So apparently at some point while I was washing these dishes, my camera died. I got done washing and drying the dishes and looked over and my camera was dead. <laughs> so anyways, we're gonna skip ahead a second here. I'm going to be refilling my cleaner. I'm going to be using uh, Plant Therapy's Cleaner Concentrate, uh, the multi-surface cleaner concentrate. This smells really good. It's like a springy floral scent. So we're gonna be putting a few capfuls of that in this bottle and then refilling uh, or filling up the rest with water. It says you can do anywhere from four to eight capfuls and the kids were talking to me um, while I was doing this so I lost count of how many I did. But you know, anywhere from four to eight depending on how strong you want it. It smells good. The bottle lasts a while because you only do such a small amount at a time. And it's non-toxic, which y'all know I really like. I try to use as many non-toxic things in our house as possible. So now I'm just gonna use this to clean up the countertops. And I use this cleaner for pretty much anything in our house besides like the inside of the toilet bowl. Um, that's about the only thing I use anything else for. That's why I love this cleaner so much. Now we're going to be moving over into the living room to tidy up. It looks like the kid's toy box or toy basket thing exploded. <laughs> I really need to go through and like put those toys back where they belong because we got that to like, you know, simplify the cleaning up process, make it a lot easier for the kids too. Or if they just have toys they've been playing with a lot lately, they can just keep them out in the living room with all of us. Um, but right now it's kind of overflowing. So I need to start putting things back in their rooms and in the playroom and um, you know, that way we have a little bit more room, but I didn't do that today. Um, but I just kind of did a quick tidy, you know, nothing major for today. I do want to deep clean soon. So that should be coming hopefully in the next couple videos or so. So stay tuned if you would like to see that.
my sister-in-law in Florida hand made us this beautiful card for our son Alexander that we miscarried recently. I posted a video kind of talking about that a little bit. If you haven't seen that, you should go check it out. Um, but she handmade us this card and uh, my in-laws got us a little shadow box for it. So I put the other cards and letters they had written for us um, about you know Alexander. I put all of those in there and then had the card that my sister made in the front. And we have that hanging over our bed to remember him by. And I absolutely love it. But now we are on to day two. We're going to be cleaning up the back area this time and it didn't take near as long as I thought it would. It always winds up being that way whenever I'm like, oh, I'll just do it in two days. Do this part of the house today. Do that part of the house tomorrow. The back area takes like no time to get done. So it, it took me like 30 minutes total maybe <laughs> before I was already finished in here. It could have been done in one day. But like I said, that's pretty much always how it is. But um usually by the time I finish cleaning up in the living room and kitchen especially I'm kind of tired so that's why I called it a day after those and we will do the easy bedroom picking up today no, um, no deep cleaning like I said earlier that's going to be all for today's video. I hope it gave you some good motivation. Sometimes I allow myself to just get part of the house done and I'll finish it tomorrow. That's kind of what I was doing this time, even though the second part was super easy and I could have easily done it in one day. I let myself be lazy sometimes, clearly. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. It gave you some motivation to get your house cleaned up. And if you did enjoy this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if I haven't uh, gotten to know you yet because I would love to get to know you. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!